Okay. So we'll start with just some opening, centering breath. Feeling the breath as it travels in through your nose or mouth. Feeling as it exits. You might notice the temperature of the air coming in and out. You might notice the feeling as you inhale, expanding into your back body. You might notice how the low belly expands and softens again. those natural waves of the breath. Over time, the breath might expand, filling new areas, maybe in the upper back, lower back, up high into the chest. I want to maybe meditate on a few words and say one to three words. You can choose your own. If you want to hold within yourself or offer to others, all, all of that. Offer to yourself, offer to others. So I'd invite you to bring a hand over the chest and one over the tummy. And don't overthink it. The words I'm choosing are gratitude, peace, and love. There may be other words, comfort, acceptance, help, could, could be any. You may choose one word. And we're gonna take three breaths, imagining repeating those words to ourselves, offering them to ourselves.
and six more breaths, offering those words to others, maybe a specific person, maybe others in general. Again, together with the hands of the heart, taking a moment, taking a breath. And easy, let that go. Blink open the eyes, bring the hands to the legs, take a few shoulder rolls. Let the shoulder rolls become cat cow. Taking some time to breathe and open up the back, open up the front, feel your shoulder blades, feel your chest. Come upright, take the arms to the sides and stretch them out. Big reach through the fingers. You might even do it slowly, unless there's a point along the way that is very um, unstable feeling for your shoulder and you wanna kind of just move past that. Otherwise, spread it out, spread through the fingers, through the palm. Allow the hands to come together if they will. The eyes lift up. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart, follow with your eyes. Press the hands together. Inhale back up, wash the hands come up. Exhale, push out side to side and let the eyes come all the way down. Relax your hips as your hands come down to your sides. Inhale, watch your arms as they lift up. The hands start to meet. Down into the heart, watch them come down, press them together, inhale, lift up, exhale out, push through the palms, all the way down. One more time, lifting up, stretch out through all parts of your arms, and bring it down to the heart, press the palms together, warming up the wrists, and back up one more time, big reach. Exhale, push side to side, hold side to side. I take a little bend of my elbows usually just to help support the neck and knees, shoulders. Push through your palms. Bring the fingers together underneath the wrists, stretch the fingers towards you. You might move them forward and back if that feels good for you. 
and easy, let the arms come down. Good, cross your arms to the opposite leg, lean it back, round in. Breathe into your back body, take a moment. Arms up, reach up. Exhale to a little forward fold. Take your time with your forward folds. I crawl my hands forward on my um, the padding of my finger. Drawing the heart forward, exhale, relax in. You might walk the hands forward a little bit more or stay where you are. Lift the heart and relax in, exhale. One more time, maybe walk the hands forward more. Exhale, so I bend my elbows to draw my heart downward. Walk your hands back behind you. Lift up the heart, draw the arms back. Open eyes, open breath. Don't stress your low back and soften out from here. If it's okay to take your legs forward, bring your feet on the ground. So I keep my feet on the ground, my knees bent, and we'll just warm up the front of the legs and the side of the legs with a little of that knocking through the legs, through the um, quads, the outer hip, the IT band. We did this in Qigong class a lot and it always has stuck with me as a good way to start to soften energy, getting it to move a bit. Another moment of this. And just run your hands up and down the legs. Just softening it out. And we'll change our leg position back to a seat. Um, if you know which leg was in front before, if you cross your legs, do it the other way. Continuing cat cows. As you lean back, draw your chin in and relax your forehead down. If it feels okay, just a little tiny movement of your head side to side, it doesn't take much. Come back up, stretch the arms up. Big breath to the sky, push side to side and hug yourself across the body. Hold to your shoulder blades or wherever you can. Draw the elbows down. Just try to relax into the arms. And here, if it's okay, tilt your head side to side. Doesn't need a lot. Tilting side to side is not often very comfortable. So I just think of like giving a little bit of space, a little bit of motion into the side. and soften the arms down. One more big reach out and up. Exhale, forward fold. We're taking one breath to draw the heart forward and soften it down. Walk the hands back. Draw the heart up, shoulders down, shoulder blades towards each other, arms rolling back. And let that go. Good. Let's come into a table. Warm up more in cat cow.
couple more breaths with your cat cow. Good. Tuck your toes, move your hands forward and come up to down dog. We'll take a little time in down dog. Warming up. You can always come in and out of it if you need to. Bring your knees down, coming back to table and returning when you're ready. Take care of yourself. Relax your neck. Lift up through your tailbone. And come all the way forward. Take a little half lift into a forward fold. Relax the back of your neck. And slowly rise up. Inhale to reach to the sky. Exhale your arms to your sides into mountain. Roll your shoulders forward and back. So the arms roll in and out, thumbs point towards each other forward, and then they point out. You might even like to like bend your knees and lengthen your knees with this motion. Good. Stand in mountain. Feel your feet on the ground, soften your eyes onto one point. Take a breath into your back body. Soft jaw. Inhale, stretch up. Forward fold, a big forward fold, bend your knees. Take a moment here. Half lift into your plank pose. Breathe. Check that your head is aligned. So the neck stays aligned through the whole spine. Bring the knees down to a knee plank, lift up the feet, move your ankles. Keep the low belly active, drawing towards the spine. Draw the hips back, walk the hands forward, not child's pose, just big stretch back. Only so much that it feels good and okay for you. Good, come back up to down dog. Check, check here, look at your feet. Look at your heels and your ankles. Are they aligned? Are your feet rolling in or out? Just noticing what happens there. Come all the way forward. Half lift to forward fold. And rise up, stretch up to the sky, arrive into mountain pose, relax. Draw the shoulders back, open palms, a little bend of the knees. Take a breath and we'll begin again, stretch up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift into plank.
Lengthen through the spine, in through the front body, knees up or down, of course. Bring the knees down if they're not there yet. Lift up the feet. Strong legs, strong front body. Lower down with control. Cobra. Exhale, push to down dog. Big exhale. Good. Stretch your right leg up. We're just stretching the legs up. So take a moment. Change legs. And let that go. Bring your foot down. Lengthen. Stretch through your down dog. Lift up your tailbone. Lift up on your heels. And come all the way forward. Half lift to forward fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release your arms. Good. Take your right foot, step it back into crescent lunge. Readjust. Rebalance. Arms up. Great. Step forward, arms to the sides, land into mountain pose. You might look down and see where your foot landed. And other side, left foot back. Lots of energy here, the lifting energy. And step forward. Inhale up, stretch up, 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 and forward fold. Half lift into plank pose. Knees down, lower with control. Hug your elbows to your sides. Cobra, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Good, take a breath here. We're all actually going to lower the knees back down. Draw your shoulders in and gentle, bring your knees down. Good. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Take a run through a cat cow. Either one hand or both hands, rotate your fingers underneath you towards you. So rotate your hands out and point the fingers towards you. I usually do one hand at a time so that I am not, um, so that there's just more uh, stability and control. I can come out of it easily if it feels wrong on my wrist. Change, and just take the hand and rotate it. And come out. Good, come back up to down dog. Stretch your right leg up. Exhale to step that foot forward and we'll come up into crescent lunge. If bringing your foot forward drags on the mat or hits your foot on the mat or is not right for you, you can always bring the knees down first and just bring your foot forward and then come up. Lower the hands, step back into plank, lower into your chaturanga, either from the knees or as a full plank into your up dog or into your cobra. Exhale to push into down dog. Stretch. 
stretch your left leg back. Exhale to step it forward and rise up. Breathe. Again, hands down, lots of core strength and control as you lower your hands. Stepping back into plank, coming through chaturanga, up dog or cobra, Ooh, into your down dog. Ooh. Come all the way forward. Halfway lift to forward fold. Rise up, reach up, arms to the sides, roll the shoulders. Good, inhale to reach up, exhale to forward fold. Hold your forward fold, breathe, relax. Take a half lift and take the left foot all the way back. You can watch it come back. It might come down once. You might hop it further. Lengthen out into this long lunge. Heel through the hips, through the spine, through the top of the head. Exhale, gentle. Bring your back knee down. And walk your hands up the front leg. Stretch up. Maybe the hands come towards each other or together. If they come together, just let it be very gentle. The palms resting till, together. Exhale, the hands down, lengthen out your front leg. Point the toes up. Take time with the hamstrings in the back of the knee. You don't have to straighten it all the way out. You might let just a little gentle pulse forward and back. Like I've said before, I think about like rocking a baby or like soothing a baby. So not pulling or like moving really fast, just little motion. Good, draw forward, arms up. Exhale, your hands down. You can take the back knee up or down into your twist, lifting through that right arm. Feel into your bottom shoulder. Breathe, take care of your neck. Exhale, rotate out, arms up. One more time, lengthen out the front leg. So I'll walk my hands with me a little bit, drawing the hips back. And I kind of get into where I find some sensation. If you have pain or strong pulling at the back of the knee, um, ease out. And then over time, I just walk the hands forward, draw forward through the top of the head. Good. Draw the body forward, bending back into that front knee. Take your back foot and hop it into warrior one. So I lift up my knee, I look at my foot, and bring it back down, angled out. Rise up, stretch up. And as we take a breath, we're gonna bring the back knee 
forward. So I'm going to take a breath, coming to the toes and the ball of the foot, and I draw my back knee up to 90 degrees, flexing at the foot. So just letting it be this forward. If you need to, bring your toes underneath you first, and then draw the knee up. Arms stay up if possible. Just a moment of balancing here. And lower the arms to the sides, lower your leg. Stretch up. Again, big stretches through the ribs. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe you sway a little bit side to side. Halfway lift, the right foot back. Draw space through the back body. My strong back leg here. And exhale to draw the back knee down. Be quite gentle with that. Bring your hands up the front leg. And we ground in. Stretch up. Let the palms, if they can, if they touch gently. If bringing them close together like that is too strenuous on your neck, give yourself some space. It's okay. Exhale your hands down, lengthen out that front leg. Take a little time. It might be useful to use blocks in your hands. In your back of your leg, a moment here. Soft jaw, easy breath. Come forward and set up to twist. Move the left arm up. We're breathing. The back knee is up or down. Exhale to rotate the hand down. Lengthen out the front or take the arms up. Almost forgot. Arms up, getting a lot of space here. Exhale, hands down, lengthen out the leg again. Bend into that front knee. Arms up, big breath. And hands down. Take your back foot into warrior one. Tuck in the toes, lift the knee, look at your leg, look at your foot, and place it back down. The core of breathe lifts you up and it holds you up. Ground into your back foot, lifting that energy across the body. Settle the breath in the eyes. Here we go. We're going to take that back leg, knee forward into 90 degrees. Nice. Exhale, draws the knee forward. Stand, breathe. And exhale. Let it go. Arms to the sides. Roll the shoulders. Good. We're going to take a moment standing onto the left leg. Draw the right knee up. Left hand is left hip. Right hand holds on to the right knee. Take your time, just open it out. Only so much that it feels okay. Engage your standing legs so the quads are lifting up. 
opening out to the side as if you were gonna come into a tree, but we are not. We're here, kind of like a frog pose in its own way. Taking the knee back to center, change hands. So now it's coming to twist across the body. You might lengthen out the right arm. You could even potentially change back to the right hand. Left arm out or to the hip. Bring your back to center and let it go. If balancing, um, if you, uh, you know, for balancing, if you need to use wall or something like that, you can still do it. It just might look a little differently. You might be facing the wall and what would be the, the really great is if you had like two chairs, so one hand could reach out and then when you change the other one could reach out. Ground into the right leg, left knee up. Hand to the right hip. Hold on. The foot's flexed a little, so it's just a gentle flex at the ankle. Take your time opening it out. Feel into the strength of your standing leg. The quads are engaged. The hamstrings are engaged. We're not twisting the body to the knee. We're just stopping wherever it stops. Take it slow. Bringing the knee across the body, changing hands into a twist. The other arm might extend. And you might even unravel to the other hand again. This arm might outstretch or come back to the hip. Exhale, let it go. Huh. All right, come out wide onto your mat, step out wide. Big lift up and a fold. Relax your neck, lift up your kneecaps using your quads. Hug on to the right knee or the right leg, give the hug. Left leg, thank you, leg. <laughs> and come back to center. Star pose, five pointed star. Down to God. Elbows open side to side. Lots of space across the chest without pushing the ribs forward. So we don't back bend, we keep the spine nice and long, upright. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale, back in. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Take another breath in your goddess pose. You're fine. I'm okay. And up. Release your arms. Go and bring the feet back to parallel. And then open out to the right. Sink into it. Get into your warrior two legs. And then take a little time to lift and sink into it. Just feeling in. Side angle, stretch out. Reverse warrior. Exhale through reverse warrior. Inhale, coming back to side angle. Breathe. Reverse warrior. 
Come up to triangle, Ooh, my leg. Triangle, reach forward and rotate the arm. Nice long spine, lifting in that top arm, space across the chest. Take care of your neck. Bend it to that knee, come up. Back to warrior two. Good. Rotate the foot into your wide forward fold. Reach up and fold. Take a moment, scan your body, see where you're holding on. See if you're tensed a lot in any area. Work your hands forward, draw your hips back. It's okay to bend a little in the knees. Walk the hands underneath you. Bend the elbows, drawing the head downward. Come out and come up. Five pointed star. Got it. Breathe, you might sink in a little bit more if it feels okay. Pressing into the feet, sustain. Relax your neck a little bit if you're tensing the jaw in the front of the neck. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back in. Inhale up, exhale down. Another breath in your pose. And come out. Whew. Let it go. Bring the feet back to parallel and open out to the left. Settle into this warrior two. And slide to side angle. You might notice things feel different with one leg and the other. Reverse warrior. Side angle. Breathe. Reverse warrior. Come up to triangle. Whew. Reach and rotate. Nice, take a moment and triangle. Check your neck. Lengthen the spine. Good. Come back into warrior two. A strong pose. Rotate the foot. You might reach the arms up. I like to bring them together at the top and fold one more time. Take a moment. If you like coming into that twist or you like to bend into one knee at a time, maybe you want to hug side to side. Taking a moment to enjoy your own wide forward fold. Enjoy is one word. And make your way back up. Bend the knees, heel to the feet together, shake it out. Sometimes I like to move my ankles, it can be a lot on the outer ankle. Good. So we're going to come back into doing that standing twist. And of course, if your um, pelvis, your SI joints, um, if there's any reason not to do that, 
feel free to just do a tree pose, come into any other pose that is um, balancing for you. But we'll all take a moment here, standing onto the left leg. The right knee up, hold on to it. Take your time opening it out. Bring it across the body, opening to twist, changing hands. If it's interesting for you to use your peace finger, your um, pointer and middle finger around the big toe or holding on to the outside of the leg, wherever you can, or keep the knee bent, the foot flexed a little. If you can, change hands again. and let it go. Standing back onto the other side here, standing onto your right leg. With balancing poses, I do like to recommend just taking a big breath, coming into mountain pose or shake it out a little bit, recenter yourself. So we're coming into the second side. Um, without tension or any experience from what just happened. Just kind of trying to let that go. Begin again. Yoga is about beginning again. Standing onto the right leg. Open it out. Opening the left leg out. Hold it. A little flex of the foot at the ankle. Bring it across, your option for your leg. If you want to lengthen the leg, keep it bent. Twisting. Try changing back to the first hand. And let it go. Okay. Energy last yoga session really wanted to do that, and I, it wasn't um, it wasn't time, so I just had to do that today. So come back to the front of the mat. And we're gonna come into a big forward fold. Relaxing down into your forward fold. You might even have the feet a little wide. Bring the knees down. Think back to your child's pose. Keep it active at first if you can. Strong hands on the ground. Lifted arms, lengthening back, relax your head. And let go of the effort. So the arms come down. Walk your hands side to side in your child's pose. Stretching a little through the side body and the side of the shoulder. And take your time coming back up to a seat.
coming up to a crisscross or any comfortable seat, whatever is best for you. We're just gonna take a moment of a side stretch. So bringing the right hand down, lift up and over. Changing sides. Low back and forth, letting it become a bit of a fluid motion. And finishing on the left side. Good. Come back up. Take the um, left leg forward, right foot close in, a big lift and a full. I like. Um, to keep a little bit of bend in my knees. Sometimes I like to put a little pillow underneath it if it feels like it wants more comfort. Draw forward through the top of the head so that your eyes are looking downward towards your leg. Walk the hands up, take this knee over into a twist. Twisting to the right. Unravel to a seated figure four. You'll need that left knee, the hands behind you anywhere to come into this easy breezy position. I like to rock with it. Make sure your shoulders are okay. They're not coming all the way up. So there's a little activation to lift up the chest, keeping the ears and the shoulders away. Good, slide that foot out and change legs. Again, upright so that your pelvis isn't leaning back. If it is, you might need a pillow to sit on and fold. the hands up, coming to twist, so the knee comes over. You might hug the knee or use the elbow on the outside. Check into your back hand, is it like super pressure, is it okay? Unravel to your seated figure four. Go ahead and ease out. Bring the feet down and we'll roll to our backs, all the way back. Come to your happy baby. Sit 
massaging the back, letting go of the practice today. Any tension that's accumulated during your practice. Draw the feet down, take the left leg up and cross it over for figure four. And relax your back. Come on out to the other side. Come on out. Um, either um, daydreamer or butterfly. I want to come into a, um, a heart opening back bend. Um, and I urge you to just be very careful and mindful of your neck as we come along. You can even, if there's any concern for yourself, you might just do the setup, taking the legs out onto the mat. Bring the hands underneath the upper glutes, the um, kind of like underneath the pelvis. Push into the forearms and bring the forearms underneath you. And I'm lifting up the heart, strong legs to bring the back corner of my head down. Lift up through the heart. And very gently come out. I just like lift my head the slightest bit to slide it back out. Release your hands. And take a moment as if you were in mountain pose. I bring the feet back down. We're going to come to a twist. Shift the hips over to the right. Draw the legs up to the left. Outstretch right arm. Change sides. I like to recenter. Take a second and shift to the other side.
and come on out. Take a moment doing any last poses that would complete your practice today. If there's anything that you need at this time. And as we get ready for Shavasana, if you want to, take, um, again, hand to the low belly, hand to the heart. If there's a new word you want to focus on, Or you might let the words stream through. Peace, acceptance, love, warmth. Eventually, you might have the arms come to the sides or stay here with this practice. Eventually, you may let go of the words and just let yourself be in your own light. 